What's going on guys? I've got a 2008 Mazda 6 and I'm gonna use this vehicle to show you the one fuse and the one relay for the operation of the horn. It helps to have something like these Leatherman pliers for pulling out the fuses and the relays. And those can be found under the hood right here. So you're gonna have to pop this cover off. Real, real simple to do. There's a tab on either end that you squeeze and it lifts off. Now the fuse, it's gonna be this 20 amp fuse. And what's interesting about this fuse is it provides power to not only the horn, but also the brake lights. So it's not likely to be that fuse unless you've noticed issues with the lights as well. Now the horn relay, that is gonna be this one right here. You can try tapping on it as a troubleshooting step. Although my favorite way to test relays is to swap the relay with a known good relay, if you're able to find one. So no shortage of other relays similar to this one. You could stop it with, you could swap it with um, maybe a fan relay right next to it, or even the Bose relay, the subwoofer relay. Now, while I've got this out, I wanna look at the pins and make some comments about those. Now, two of these pins should receive constant power from the 20 amp fuse that I pointed out. So one of these two fuses here will get power and one of these two fuses will get a power. When the horn actually goes off, it receives a signal to do that, not from the switch itself, but from the body control module. So if you see positive on one of these, the other one should be receiving a ground when you're having the horn go off. And these two pins get connected by the relay when the relay is energized. And so you can actually connect these two pins yourself with a paper clip and see if that results in your horn going off. So yeah, I hope this info was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the horn on your Mazda 6.